Um, my name is Michael Owen. I'm an artist here in Baltimore. I'm going to talk today about finding home. I came here 15 years ago to go to MICA. This is out of a scrapbook my mom made. <laughs> I look like the lost Backstreet Boy. Um, you know, it was a hard fit. Uh, I came from Orlando and I tried to find some aesthetics in the city I connected to. But I mean, this is my, some of the first murals I ever made in my apartment, a friend's apartment. You know, there was, the conflict was there and um, it was hard for me to kind of feel like I was at home. I started doing community work and seeing how different organizations used art to connect to the people in their area. And that really, I was hooked with that. I love seeing the power of that art, um, being out on the street, talking to real people that were going to the store about art. So I started trying out my own different concepts I wanted to play with and words that I thought were important and to see what they would do. Um, see if it might connect the city, if it could stand up to that stuff. And it invited me into a lot of um, neighborhoods and schools, <clears throat> excuse me, that I wasn't able to get into before. And the stories were unbelievable that came out of that. You know, people just opening up and sharing um, about love in Baltimore. So I tried out other concepts. This is from a series when I found out I was going to be a dad, thinking about seeing the world and exploring it through new eyes. Um, there were a lot of different concepts I was able to play with, but I was still kind of, you know, feeling the grind of Baltimore. Anyone else ever, feel, you know, feel that here? Um, I got a residency at the Creative Alliance and really took up uh, some of their philosophy on working right with the community and um, took that to other cities. Fell in love with Detroit, all these other towns I was playing around in with pain and talking in. And the grass felt greener, you know. Um, there were different, I was able to connect the Love Project to some legislation in Maryland, um, in Madison, to help push through some LGBT rights and marriage equality. And, um, you know, I kind of started to realize that the things in these cities that I was connecting to were really things that I was loving about Baltimore, the struggles of people here, the, the scenes here, the neighborhood feel that's in Baltimore. So... I came back and, let's see if this is gonna change, there we go. I came back and started repping Baltimore more. You know, I got a commission from the governor. I was doing kind of corporate partnerships that were city-centric, um, something with uh, Center Stage that was about home, and really putting my efforts into the city and starting to feel the love, starting to feel the family um, vibe of the town. And of course, there's always a small town haters, but, um, you know, it, I felt really connected to the city for the first time after that investment, um, after working with mutual respect um, in the neighborhood. I found um, a place in Highland Town, decided to set up shop with, um, to raise my son here, start an artist residency program. It's a, like right on the same block as the refugee center. So I had um, everyone in the neighborhood write home on my front doors in their native language and started a program where I brought artists in to the space to engage the diverse community in ways I couldn't. So the first artist is Greg Deal. Sorry, I got something in my mouth. <laughs> it's been in there this whole time. I'm like, uh. and um, the, conversations, the conversations he had on the street were just amazing. He was able to like engage people in ways that I wasn't. I mean, I heard this guy say like, they were talking about race for an hour, okay? And this guy was like, I don't know why I thought that way. I'm gonna go home and think about that. I mean, those are amazing transitions to happen in someone's heart through, through pain. Webster Phillips, I think he's here. He's born and raised in Baltimore. He's a second artist. We're working with his grandfather's um, photographs of Baltimore from the 40s and 50s. We're putting them up, um, mural size, huge wheat pastes, trying to ID people um, before that generation is lost preserve the history of Baltimore, so you're gonna see that stuff going up. He's doing a, a workshop at the Creative Alliance this Saturday for free. We're trying to get a lot of people in the neighborhood to connect with this art. This is my favorite piece I've done in, in town. It's called One Day at a Time. And I think it really speaks, you know, it, it continues to change messages to me, but really reminds me to keep going one day at a time in this town, investing, loving, and 15 years and 100 murals later, I'm proud to call it home. Thanks. Thank you.